well, happy birthday to me. <laughs> happy birthday to me and I'm going to share some of my birthday cheer with you. Um, you will probably, it might be 11 o'clock, but you will probably nearly all have rushed over to the website because of the bargains that will be there. But come back and have a look at a couple of cards that I want to show you today. Um, one in detail, one that's already cut up, all ready to go. And let me explain a little bit about what I've got to show you. So I'm going to be starting off with showing you a very simple, but I think really beautiful card with one of the new pierced collection from Creative Expressions and Jamie Rogers. This one is called the Snowflake Mandala. It comes, oh, I've left the other die off. It comes in two dies, so there's an outer edge. Let's just grab that and show you. There's the outer edge. And then we've got this one inner piece here, which I'm just going to take off of the card. And that's what we're going to use. Now, we could obviously use the outer edge, but I just wanted it fractionally bigger. So I have cut a piece of card, which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I've cut that and already cut it out in this um, antique, no, vintage, I should beg your pardon, vintage copper matte card, okay, or satin card. Absolutely beautiful. You can see there's lots of detail in it, stitch detail, movement detail, and I'm going to do a bit of movement and I'm going to do a little bit of paper piecing because it just lends itself to that. Not something, as you know, that I'm particularly keen on, but I just felt that we needed to do it with this. So I've cut that one out, but I'm going to pop that to one side because then I'm going to take the um, mirror card side of this and I'm going to pop that on and cut that one out as well. So what we're going to get... It's the same size, by the way. We're going to get from this um, two enough for two cards, but they'll be kind of like the other way round. So what I mean? Because the pieces that I want to paper piece with this one into that one can then be the um, die shape when it come is finished could be interspersed with these, the waste as such from this one. So. I'm only going to show you one way of doing it, but if you, you'll understand what I mean in a minute, that there is some left over if you don't. So I'm going to pop it onto my um, cutting machine. Now, remember, it is an extremely intricate die. Imagine that my die cutting machine is here. I'm going to put my die cut through like that so that it gets as much chance as possible to cut rather than dead on like that. I found a much better cut like that, although I have to say nearly every time I've cut it I have had to turn it around 90 degrees to give it another chance just to cut. So let's see, I'm going to put a shim on the top of it and then I'm going to put my plate on top of that. So I'm going to just run that through my machine. I'm going to make it into a seven inch card. So um, that gives you the base of what sort of thing we're going for. You could do it for bigger, but obviously if you were doing it for bigger, you would need a few more layers. So I'm going to show you this straight out as I, as I go. Turn it over and just show you. Can you see what I mean? I'd noticed this before that um, just one or two of the bits aren't quite true. So I'm just going to turn that around and go through once more with that. So let's just do that. So just putting that through. Always takes longer than you think it's going to, doesn't it? So whilst we're doing this, I will be celebrating my birthday in Oxford and possibly at this moment in time, I shall be being punted up the river as one does. So that'll be nice. I will report all about it. I'm carefully taking off those pieces there because I just want to be very careful with these bits. I'm going to take off this little um, snowflake and I'm also going to be carefully, hold on, let's just grab my, just 
carefully take these little bits off. I'm not quite, quite sure if I'm going to use all of them, but I just want to take them off in case I do, because the vast majority are left in the um, plate. Just checking. Yep, yeah, they're all through. And I'm just going to make up my card before I touch that one again. I'm just going to make up my card. So I've got my 7x7 seven seven card blank and I've got, first of all, a sheet of jet black mirror card. And that's what I'm going to put on first. That one measures about six and a quarter, so about half an inch bigger. Six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And it's going on to the seven inch blank card. Like so. Mm. And then I'm going to take my piece. Now, it, as I said, if you look at it, you can see that there's a lot of movement in it. And what you want to be moved is entirely up to you. So you can sort of move these little bits here. You can stick those up. See what I mean? Just poke those up there. So they just sit a bit proud. Like so. And then you've got another level here. Now, I'm not going to do this, but you've got another level there to do it all the way around here. Then you've got another level here. So you could prise these bits up, just push from behind and push those up. And then you've finally got this next level here. So you've got loads to be able to manipulate and do different things with. But I wanted to do, as I said, a bit of paper piecing. So I'm just checking. In fact, actually, I think I am going to pop these ones up just in these four corners. And, you know, it, no matter what you do, it will all look really different. So without a piece of foam in sight, I am just going to pop some glue around the edges and stick this one down. Now, I'm going to have to be careful that I don't put it on anywhere where I want it to be raised but I also need to make sure that as many places as possible has got glue so that it stays stuck so it's another little border all the way around there that needs gluing really need one of these little precision things to do that and there's another little border all the way around here do, 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 do. And then a little bit maybe in the middle there. I mean, you could put on more, but hey ho. So I'm going to try my best to centre that and pop that down straight onto my mirror card in jet black. And just carefully pop that down. Now I've put that one on first so that you can see where those, I mean, you could in all honesty, couldn't you just leave it like that, which looks really effective and would look very different in different colours. But I just wanted to put a little bit of the paper piecing in. So I'm going to take my magnetic sheet. Now, this is years old. It is a sticky woodware magnetic sheet, A4 sheet, and it's been put onto um, a um, cutting mat on a permanent basis so that I've got something there. So I'm going to carefully, you can see there's a little sneaky one there, carefully turn that over so that I am now onto magnetic sheet, which will hold my die into place fractionally. I'm going to bring my picture over because then I can see which of the bits that I want to um, paper piece into here. And I can see that this ring of diamond pieces I want to, and that is these. So I'm going to just fractionally lift it up and then just push through all of those. Then I'd quite like these ones as well, which is these. So I'm just putting through there. And I'd quite like that middle one too. So the middle one's going to come up. And then if you look at it, you can also see some in the corner, some of the um, snowflakes. I quite fancy the snowflakes. That one we've already done. So I'm just going to pop the snowflakes through. And there are some other snowflakes here. So they've got to be a bit more careful of you where you find them. But 
you get used to it and you can see roughly that where they are. Um, and I quite like, now can I find those? I'm not quite sure because I quite like the idea of these. But maybe not, maybe not as I push them up. Let's have a look. Let's see what we have achieved. So let's just push those two out there. Come on. Out we get. So I'm still leaving that in there in a minute because I might decide to do a few more. But we will. And you see what I mean? That if I had that there. Oh, take the snowflakes out. If I had that there, I would then have a completely new one, a new card that I could do. Let's just push these out a bit further. I don't want to miss any of the little bits. So let's just take out those. Where's the other one? Another one there. do that because I need that little snowflake. None in there. Can push that from that way. Right. Don't want too many of the bits comes out because then it's just easier to work out where they should be. So I'm just being a bit careful. So I've got a fair few bits that I'm just going to now paper piece into there. So as we said, I want to put these on here, so I'm just going to put a little bit of ink in there. I'm going to use my paper picker wherever it's gone. Oh, in a safe place. Just to pick up these pieces here and just slot them oops, into place. like that and I think you can then see what I mean by using the mirror card that goes together so this is the vintage copper um, front and back if you see what I mean front and back now you know what I mean oh do I get glue everywhere uh, it's the whoops the satin and the mirror version of it so we know that they go together really well and I think that they look rather beautiful like that. So let's just bring that up. Can you see that just subtle difference, which is really pretty. So then I'm going to go for these um, little stretched diamonds in the middle and that little one in the, in the centre. So let's pop that one in. It might take a little bit of turning. No, in it goes. And then just pick up these. So even if you're not really into the paper piecing side of it, because I can't say that I am usually, but sometimes I really enjoy doing it. And um, this is one of those times which I think that they, it's just a very effective and a quite an easy one to do, which again is what it's all about really. So, and I think having the magnetic sheet, it holds that die in place without them all flicking out everywhere. Um, so that you can see which area it is that you want to actually achieve. So I'm just going to then pop a little bit in um, to put my little snowflakes back in because I think that they would look rather nice as well. And then we're done. doesn't really leave an awful lot of room for sentiments, I will give you that. But... I think one would get the idea with it. So entirely up to you. If you wish, you could do a bigger card. So you could do an eight by eight, and then you could put your sentiments on sort of like a frame around it, which would look nice. But everything is, um, you know, down to the individual. This would also look lovely in the two different colours of silver, again with maybe the gold or a blue behind it. So I'm just going to pop into this snowflake, this one. 
this one and finally this one. Oops, turn the snowflakes over so I can grab hold of them and pop them in. So over on the website you will see this little beauty on offer. Um, you will also see lots of other sale items including some bargains on the craft artist linen card including some new colours um, and I would suggest that you grow over and grab any of those. The good thing is that you can watch this back a little later. But I have got you one other card just to show you in a second. So this is my vintage copper version of the Snowflake Mandela by Jamie Rogers and Creative Expressions. I think it's a really pretty card and um, all different colour combinations would look great with that one. So just pop that to one side. Oh, and as I said, now I can be careful with that. I could then just take out all of those pieces. Just pop a white card behind it even. Absolutely, another one of those absolutely flat cards. So uh, a, a real beauty for that. So now let me just bring over a couple of dies that are on sale. Um, one at uh, an excellent price and it well you can buy these separately or you can get a really good price if you buy these two together so we have got um, an older die which is the festive collection from possibly quite a few years ago I'm not quite sure when I don't think it says actually um, maybe three or four years ago and this one is called pearly snowflake border so it's quite a small die it's only 12 centimeters which is just under five inches long and five and a bit centimetres, so just over two inches, um, maybe two and a half, something like that. So it's, it's a nice little delicate border. And then I've teamed that with a bit of twinkle. One of the festive collections from this year, one of the big, um, just one word, we've had greetings and that sort of thing. And this one is twinkle. You've actually got two dies there. So you've got the outer background and then the very fine wording. And this one is just one die. So I've popped these virtually together and I've gone a bit sort of, um, well, a bit up. Well, I say up market. I was going to say up market, but I've gone black and gold. So I have got a five by seven card blank. I have taken a piece of jet black um, mirror card again. But this time I've popped it through a snow background embossing folder. That are my lights, that little halo, that's not normally on there. Um, and I feel that I've got to, I can't get away from it. I'm going to have to put some foam onto the back of that. So I'm just going to put the foam onto there. So this one, as I said, was a five by seven piece of card. That's more or less 12 by 18. So I have trimmed my piece of paper down to three, um, four and three quarters by six and three quarters or eleven and a half by seventeen and a half. So I'm just going to pop my foam onto there. And then I have already cut out the frame so that you can see what it's like. I've cut that out in the um, waterfall craft artist gold waterfall which is back in stock um, and a couple of new colours to come but the original colours so to speak the blacks and the golds and the blues and the silvers sorry not the blacks and the golds the golds and the silvers the pinks and the blues they are all back in stock and because this sentiment says twinkle well by golly does it twinkle so I thought we needed to do that so I've just trimmed that down and I pop that into there and as I said I have cut already this beautiful little frame out which I think is just very very pretty just need to take the last bits out so it is only about five inches wide so it just fits on there quite beautifully I've cut another one out for the bottom and this is the waterfall card in gold clearly but again, very, very 
twinkly and sparkly. Just checking that I've got them in the right places, which I have, yeah, okay. I'm going to spray glue these for quickness. So I'm gonna put them in my little box and give myself some spray, whoops. I hope I got that in the right place then because it moved at the most crucial time. It would, wouldn't it? Let's just put that that way around to see I didn't poke that one out. And all I'm going to do is pop that on the bottom, just leaving a little border there. I'm going to pop that into place, turn the card round, take this one out because we don't want that bit, and do the same with here, leaving that little border and putting that onto the other end. I just think that looks lovely even in itself, doesn't it? And then I've used my twinkle um, die. So from the outside, I've taken the outside piece, which is a solid piece, and I've cut that out of um, new gold satin and then with a piece of again the gold waterfall card I've cut out this little beauty which is the twinkle word and does a lot twinkle so again I'm going to pop a bit of glue onto the back of that spray glue but you could use any glue Still got it stuck to. I can be very careful to pop this down so that I've got a start off with the one end and then hopefully as you go it folds itself into the right position like so. So we've got that beautiful word twinkle and yep it twinkles. A little bit of foam onto there. to be careful how you put it on because you've got sort of um, break well not breaks but it goes into a narrow part there so just should really be cutting it but okay it's my birthday I can do what I like well within reason eh okay so just take the backs off and again you could have put this all down with no foam whatsoever and again another perfect Fat, easy card with just two dies, possibly even a batch one. How long did it take? Yeah, okay, I did cheat a bit because I did have it all pre-cut. Let's check that I've got the card around the right way. I've got side opening on this one. And that's just going to go into the centre where it can twinkle away to its heart's delight. So, there we have. Our two cards, as it's my birthday. Did I tell you it was my birthday? Um, two cards for uh, Christmas cards. I will give you that. Although, to be honest, you could sort of get away with that by not being Christmas. By making these little things into flowers, you could pop a little flower onto the top. If I had such a thing nearby. Oh, crunch. I've got a little tiny flower. But if you can imagine, clearly the wrong colour. If you were to put those on the corner, if you were doing it a different colour, you would not, it would not be Christmas. So, you know, it can be done. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Pop over to the website where you will find all of these. You will find the um, Jamie Rogers Snowflake Mandala. You will find the Sue Wilson Pearly Snowflake. Oh, I've forgotten what it's called now. What's it called? Pearly Snowflake Border, that's this one, and then you've got the Twinkle uh, from the Festive Collection there. You'll find all the card and you will find massive bargains and if you're very lucky you might find some mystery parcels as well. So thank you and thank you for all your good wishes because I, I do know that I have got some lovely cards that by now when you're watching this I will have opened but up until then I haven't done. So I will be in contact with everyone that has sent me one. So thank you so much.
I'll be back on Wednesday, um, Wednesday the 17th of August at six o'clock and I hope you can join me then. Take care till then everyone. Thank you and bye-bye.